Hi guys, it's Jessie Holton here, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Today I'm showing you guys a couple of really quick and easy cards using the Sweet Soiree Memories and War Pack, and I've got mine here, I keep them in one of the clear stamp cases. So I've already used most of the large cards. I think they're fantastic for putting cards together making card fronts uh, and these little ones are really great just to um, punch them out with a circle punch or fussy cut the sentiments from them um, use them as backgrounds or little strips uh, on your card fronts they're amazing for scrapbooking obviously because that's what they're meant for <laughs> but I just love using them for cards so here are a couple of the cards that we're going to use today that, that we're going to make today um, so I've made here a um, celebrate eclipse card you can see that and I've just gone over the top of it with Wink Stella and this is the shimmer ribbon from the celebrations um, these framelits also come from the celebrations so it's those three there and they're called celebrate you and they have a matching stamp set uh, which is amazing you so uh, I was going to use those for that card and then this is the second card that I'm going to make and this one's really easy uh, and for both of them I've used another card for the inside so really, really simple to put together. I've got my almost well, 11 month old, almost one month, almost one year old Ryan here by my side helping me out today. So if you hear grizzling, <laughs> that's him <laughs> trying to get himself into mischief. Um, okay, so let's quickly get started and hopefully Ryan lets me get through both of these cards. So, I've already trimmed down these cards so that they fit the Australian standard card size and leave a little bit of a border. So I haven't taken any of the width off, I've just taken a little bit off each end. So I'm going to go ahead and put some fast views. Okay, and then this one I've used the Knight of Navy ribbon, uh, but I'm actually going to use some of the Berry Burst. And the there is a really, really lovely um, metallic edge Berry Burst ribbon as well that you could very easily use on this card and it would be really pretty. But I quite like the scrunchy... Um, texture of this ribbon and because it's a very flat card like we're not really adding too much to it so um, I thought the texture of the card added quite a nice quality so I'm just gonna stick that on so it's attached with the fast fuse behind <laughs> Ryan's given me a car. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab another little bit of this ribbon and I'll just make a wedge on that. So then we've got a little bit here. Uh, And I'm just going to glue that onto my card. And then I've got a little bit of the silver twine. So it's white twine with the silver run through it. And that's from the Occasions catalogue as well. So I'm just going to fold that in half. And put it just here. 
and then I'm going to use my string and just tie a little knot and then I'm just going to use my finger to hold hold that in place and just just tug on it a little bit so that the strings go down rather than all different directions and then just cut off the excess so how cute is that? It looks like there's a little bow tied on there and it's been really simple to put together. So I'm just going to put one of those there just a couple of rhinestones to jazz it up and how beautiful is that because that card is all already coloured in and doesn't it look pretty all right so on the inside I've got this one with the purple and little bits of green washi tape printed on it uh, and again I've just cut the edges off cut a couple of millimeters off each edge and I'll just put a little bit of glue on that And that's that done. So I'm actually, I need a couple of Get Well cards. So that's what I'm using these for. But they could be for any um, little note card or thank you or anything that you need. Because that little hello sentiment is so pretty. Alright, so the second card is a little bit more um, to... To do it. I'm just going to take my mat out of the way for a minute so that my uh, big shot can grip. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see that. I'm getting a nice little collection of cars on the side here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to stick that celebrate on here. And you want to make sure that you've got the pattern up the right way. And I'm putting it a little bit above centered, like a little bit higher, so I can tie that ribbon around it. And I just want it straight and about the same from each edge. Now you could use your um, magnetic board Whoop. for this if you've got one or you could use washi tape to hold that in place but I find on the fly works best for me and I, I'm just going to run that through twice because I want it to be cut perfectly and that has cut all the way through because you need to hold on to all of these little bits so you want it all to be just comes away really easily and we, we need to hold on to all those little bits to fill back in all right so i'll just put my big shot away all righty and i'm going to put some more Fast fuse here. Now you could use this technique with any patterned paper. Hang on, Ryan's trying to pull the big shot down on himself. You're not allowed to pull it down on yourself, buddy. 
put my put my mat back down now. Oh no, a horrible mum not letting him pull down the big shot on himself. <laughs> All right, so. I'm just going to put some glue in the middle where I think this will go and hopefully I've put it in the right place. Pretty good. Okay, so I have already cut out three of these white celebrates just out of the, um, the thick whisper white. But um, you could use any scrap that you've got or a, a different coordinating colour if you wanted. Ryan, don't do that, bub. <laughs> He's hanging on to the side of my bookshelf, shaking it. This kid is a bit of a um, bit of a daredevil already. Ryan. Be careful, mister. Okay, so now we want to be really, really careful here that we keep all of those little bits. So I'm just going to carefully pull off the Celebrate sentiment and put that aside. And then I'm just going to pop these out. And we've got them all in order there of how we need to put them in. Some of them have turned over. So you'll be able to see uh, the side that's got the pattern on it. One side is stripy. Well, looks stripy because the other side has um, I love you written across it. My apologies if you get my head in here, guys. So you just want to pop those pieces down. And this is why I put the, the glue down. hopefully just feed those little pieces back in and you can use some tweezers or I like to use my scissors to move all those little bits about and just make sure that they're in the right place Pulling all my packs of DSP down onto the ground now. Little devil child. <laughs> oh, can't live with them, can't live without them. Hey? Isn't that always the way? <laughs> Alright, and I'm just going to use... See if I can get a bit more light coming through the window. I'm just going to use a little bit of Tombow here. And I'm really not using much, but I am making sure that those little curly bits at the top are got a little bit of glue on them and this is my silicon mat because when glue dries on this you can just wipe it off and it makes life much easier than having to change your um, pad all the time 
So I'm just going to pop that on top. And because we've used Tombow, I do have a little bit of wiggle room with it before it really catches and dries. So just work that, work all of the letters and just make sure that they're lined up nice and neat. my finger all right so that's now my three layers of white done and that does actually look really good just like that Hmm. Don't know whether to make it like this now or not. You know what? I think I'm going to leave that top bit off and I will use this because that's still really pretty. But I'm going to use this on a different card. <laughs> that's lovely. Okay. So, I won't worry about gluing the top bit on. Let's. Tie a bow on here. Ryan's now got one of my occasions catalogues and is working his way through it. I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook. You might have seen the video that I put of Ryan um, having a play with the new catalogue when I first got it. It's so adorable. <laughs> Even if I do say myself, I know I'm very biased. Okay. And the good thing with having your ribbon on top Just gagged on some wood textures DSP. It's good. So the good thing about having the ribbon just tied around the top of the card is, you know, sometimes your bows work out upside down. So if you're not quite sure if it looks good on that side, then you can just turn it around on that side. I think this one actually looks better on this side though. So I'm going to leave that there. Make sure it's nice and straight. All right. Let's put a little bit of Wink of Stella on this. And then we're almost done, guys. I think I might have lost an occasions catalogue. I think that one's going to have to go in the bin. It sounded like a definite ripping to me.
Okay. That's nice. Just the tiniest little bit of Winker Stella. Alrighty. And I have here some, the very, very last of my black rhinestones, which are no longer available. I'm naughty, naughty using them, hey? But, did you know that you can colour your regular um, rhinestones with a black sharpie and they will look exactly the same as this. Um, so that is it. Oh, the inside. Let's put the inside in. <laughs> yes, rat bag. Okay, and that's that. So let's see, we've got these two Celebrate Eclipse cards. And then we have these two Hello note cards. All made very simply with the Memories and More Sweet Soiree uh, card pack that is available for free with your celebration. Uh, so that's from the from the 3rd of January until the 31st of March uh, 2018. For In Australia, every $90 that you spend, you can earn one product for free from the celebrations catalogue and it's up to you which item you choose. And we do also this year have some level two items so most of the items are level one which is you can get free with a $90 order and there are two um, level two items that you can get free with a $180 item so if you spend $180 or more it's up to you you can get two $90 items or $180 item um, and if you spend more then you can get a combination of them both it's up to you how you get your freebies and what you choose but that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope that you've enjoyed watching me make these cards. Thank you for joining me on the uh, video blog hop. Um, enjoy the little things in life video blog hop. Please make sure that you hop around the rest of the crew. I'm sure that they've got some delightful projects for you. And leave a little bit of blog love along your way. <laughs> Alright guys, you have an awesome day. This is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia. JessieHolton.com uh, please let me know if you need a catalogue or anything like that. I would love to help you out. If you're ordering through me, make sure you use my monthly hostess code, which you can find on my blog, so that I can spoil you with freebies. You know, I love to give away freebies to my customers. Uh, and by using the hostess code, you also go in my monthly draw. And this month, for January, we have one of these beautiful perpetual birthday kits. So they come with all these cards that you make up and then uh, they've also got all of, all of the bits and pieces for you to make them uh, and all the little um, monthly cards so you can write your friends and family's birthdays on there and you'll never miss a birthday again and it comes in this really cute little box. So I'd love for you to win that. Uh, make sure that you use my hostess code so I can pop you in the drawer. And if you have any problems or queries, let me know. I'm only a phone call or an email away. I'd love to help you out. All right, have a great, have a great day, guys. <laughs> Take care.